Greetings, Mac Warriors, and welcome to Devlog number 14. I'm Tina Benoit, and I'm sitting here with Matt Newman, our producer, and Dennis De Koning, our art director. Uh, Matt and I are sitting here to talk about Forest Colony with Dennis. After that, we'll be talking about the winners of the Serious Cockpit item. Yes. But first, about Forest Colony. So, how much, how much bigger has it gotten? Four to four and a half times. Four and a half would be like outskirts about a bounce, mm -hmm. but a good four for a playable area for sure. Wow. What's in the, the new areas? Everything from sandy beach, uh, large trees as most people know, much more forested area, um, cliffs, lots of water. You can access the uh, behind the mine now. Um, yeah, basically everything out. The cave is gone. Mm -hmm. That's now uh, opens up into a forested area as well. So, what portion of the old map is like part of the new map? You know what I mean? All of it, yeah. except for the cave. We shaved the cave away; it's not there anymore. But otherwise, the ship is where the ship is. The the, the derelict colony is still there. The the, the uh, mine is still there with the you know, refuse ore piles and all that stuff. The that main communication tower that's all there. So it still has that. You know, uh, forest colony ness mm -hmm. to it. Right. It's just now, it's just grown in every direction. Yeah. Talking about grown, um, the, the trees are really big too. Right, yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of a certain that. forest moon, <laughs> one could say. Yes, they're much bigger. A lot of people have talked about that. Yeah. Uh, and they are bigger for uh, a few reasons. Um, one, simply because they look good. You know, they do add a lot to the map. They don't dominate the map. Uh, they only occupy about 25 to 30 percent of the map if that okay. uh, but they are bigger for other other than aesthetics they work very well in gameplay because they form a colonnade where you can run through them being hidden and exposed and hidden as, and exposed as you as you, you know wind your way through it uh, they're a great physical and visual blocker uh, and the height is there to keep ravens from perching in the branches yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'd make good uh, <laughs> good LRM good cover running. too because you'd be like absolutely. Yeah. There's lots of times when I go to hide behind a group of rocks and the LRM just still like rain still down. rain on you. Yeah, these yeah. will definitely uh, keep you safe as right. long as you're behind a tree. Mm -hmm. Right, one step to the left and you're you're boned. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, there's dropships in it now too, or yes, dropships. Yeah, that's going to be part of the normal redux of all the maps. You're going to have the dropship. You won't see them come in because clearly you're going to be inside it. But mm -hmm. as you uh, fall out of the bottom of it, you'll see them fly away. Mm -hmm. So yeah, cool. And yeah. Uh, is there any uh, new destructible uh, items in the map? Yeah, we have a medium-sized tree now. Uh, the regular trees that people are more familiar with are anywhere between eight and twenty meters. Mm -hmm. Familiar with uh, River City, same trees. Uh, this one's a little more, it's about, gosh, I don't know, 25 meters, it's a little bit bigger than an atlas. Uh, it's a broad-limbed tree, uh, like a cedar. It, it, uh, we, we didn't like to use cedars before, or broad-limbed trees before, because what happens when you walk into the branch, right? It kind of mm -hmm. goes through you, that's not acceptable. So we created a tree where the branch will get knocked off. So you can either knock them off by walking through the tree, or shooting it. With LR, it's actually fun with SRMs to shoot them, shoot the branches out of trees. They won't cause any damage if they fall down on top of you, mm. but they're. Uh, it's 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 just fun. You yeah. told me at one point you're going to take some of the tree uh, tree branches and stick them out of the larger. Yeah, so you can actually like fly up and knock those off. With yeah, them. there's all throughout the map. There's the breakable branch that's stuck on the, on cliff walls and on the. Uh, sequoias and redwoods, mm -hmm. even though they're not sequoias or redwoods. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you do randomly hit one with missiles or walk into them if they're low enough, then they'll fall off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what lessons have we learned from redoing Forest Colony that we can put onto uh, the swamp map? Um, oh, yeah. Like as far as like collisions go and mechs walking through certain things or destroying certain yeah, things. Yeah, our, our collision tech, for lack of a better word, has improved a lot. We basically have for every asset there's two collision meshes. One that's very fine and follows the contours very accurately and this is only responds to weapon fire. So now you don't have that. Looks like you have a space to shoot through but you hit a pane of glass feeling which is right. extremely frustrating. Mm -hmm. um, if it looks like there's a, if you can shoot, looks like you can shoot through it, you can shoot through it. And the other one is much more loose and that was based, that's so the mechs don't get stuck in them. It, it, they, you know, they can bounce off and uh, 
not have the problem. Not, you don't have to give away one for the other kind of thing. It mm -hmm. sort of handles both mm -hmm. of the problems. Yeah, and, cool. and we definitely had to do that in spades with the cliffs in this mm -hmm. map. Right on. How many, uh, going back to trees, how many trees do you, would you say there are in total? Uh, as far as the large trees, mm -hmm. the big ones, there's a, just, I think, a little over 70. Um, mm -hmm. As far as the medium-sized trees, there's about the same, around 70-some-odd trees. Okay. But the, the breakable trees, the ones that, well, they're all, the medium ones are breakable too, but the, the smaller trees, the mm -hmm. 8 to 20 meter ones, there's 5,200 in the map. Yeah, so it's definitely it. a thick forest. Mm -hmm. There's some areas that are very dense. But hey, they knock down, so yeah. you can clear a forest if you choose. <laughs> I noticed the f fidelity of the, the the walls, like the um, rock walls, is a lot higher now. It looks a lot better. Much, much higher. Uh, we've uh, completely removed 100% of the old forest colony uh, meshes when it comes to the cliff walls. No more of those dog biscuit biscuit looking ugly. I never was happy with those. Mm. Now they look far more realistic. Uh, there's actually there isn't even any. Uh, legacy trees. They're, every tree has been replaced. Um, most of the grass and bushes, all of the terrain textures, so it's a complete overhaul. It's not wow. just a glazing. It was the first map we did, right? It was the first map and we were under a lot of pressure to get it done under a certain amount of time. Uh, we were still learning uh, CryEngine and, and its capabilities and its limitations, so um, we had to shoehorn a lot of stuff in there. But now that we know much more, you know, we can use it up to its potential. So. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. What about weather effects? No weather effects. Uh, there's some areas that have persistent fog, just very low, low fog, like mm -hmm. below the knees of a Jenner kind of low, right. around some ponds and stuff. As the, the uh, day cycle progresses, you're going to get a little bit of morning mist, mm -hmm. but no like rolling thunder clouds or anything like mm -hmm. that. I want to hold off on rainstorms until we can get uh, the wet shader working on the terrain, as well as raindrops working on the cockpit glass. Otherwise, it just doesn't seem real. So, I'd rather do it right once. Of course. Yeah. We're not going to have to add windshield wipers. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, okay. Oh yeah, that's for the cockpit item section. <laughs> I'll talk about that. So, we're not going to have weather effects yet. No. So, what's time of day going to do? It's going to cycle through a 24 hour time a day. And uh, there's no there's no lamps like River City, so. Yeah, that's the hard part is nighttime in a forest is naturally dark. Mm. If you've ever been camping before, it gets pretty dark. <laughs> Even in a full moon, if the trees are tall enough, it gets pretty dark. Mm. So to keep it not as dark, because obviously a lot of players don't like it too dark, mm. right? But on the other hand, it gives us reason to use. Um, vision modes, so I don't want to completely remove them from the map. It wouldn't really make a lot of sense. I still want to stick with at least something that's believable. So basically there's no persistent night. It's a long, it's like an extended dusk, and as soon as it gets into its darkest point, it goes directly into dawn and it's like an extended dawn. So realistically, if you, you can break the day up into thirds, not really have a night, although it'll still be divided into quarters like it is for River City, it just doesn't have that persistent night. So and Plus, night vision looks pretty slick at, in mm -hmm. the forest as well, so. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, there's no other new destructible items besides the trees, or is there like anything? Uh, that's it. Just that's the, it? the uh, medium-sized tree, the broad limb tree, is oh, the only new, new uh, destructible item. Well, there's aerials. Like, there's a few, like on some of the colony buildings, there's some aerials that have been put up, antenna, whatever, so you can knock those over if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then there were some mushrooms. Oh yeah, that's right. The mushrooms. Thank you. I, I, <laughs> I forgot about that. That's right. These are not really mushrooms in the strictest sense. They're more like those fungus, step fungus, I think it might be called. The ones that usually occur uh, attached to tree uh, uh, in, a, in a vertical step way. These are, uh, or horizontal, I mean, these are vertical and on the ground. So mm -hmm. you can knock them over. There's no gameplay value to them, but they do release like a cloud of spores. <laughs> it's just, you know, just for some fun, yeah. Mm. yeah. What's your favorite part of the, the new map then? I think the area behind the mine, uh, the, access, the newly accessible area behind the mine, uh, it's, it's actually not obvious at first glance uh, because there's a lot of mist and, and it sort of blends into the rock face, but uh, there's a, a river that's kind of eaten its way through the gorge 
that winds around behind the mine and, and it, uh, it reminds me of you know, some of the places we have here up in the hills of Vancouver. It's, it's, uh, it's like a little bit of a grotto and, and lots of mist and, and whatnot. So you did use Vancouver as inspiration. Well, yeah, of course, you know, uh, but in the end, it kind of a lot of places a lot, look a lot like uh, the eastern coast of Newfoundland as well. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like we use both extremes, mm -hmm. uh, west and east of Canada. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should work on the north extremes next time. Alpine. For Alpine. That for Alpine. Or Speaking tag. of um, other maps. Mm. Yeah, which uh, map are you most looking forward to? Uh, I'm looking forward this? to all of them. I get excited about all of them. Mm -hmm. I really, really want to redux all of them. And uh, Cossack Valley is always on my mind. It always seems to slip under the radar. Um, I want to see Alpine mm -hmm. get done. I really want to see Terra Therma thrown back into the loop, honestly. Visually speaking, it doesn't need a whole heck of a lot of work. I think Ryan and Biona were on, on the ball when they were saying that uh, Art-wise, it's, it's fairly complete, and I agree with them wholeheartedly. But uh, as far as once that gets, once he gets done remolding the gameplay of it, I think it'll really help a lot. So, cool. Yeah. I'm voting for Alpine. <laughs> One for Alpine. One for Alpine. <laughs> Check. We'll put a couple of trees. I'll, Maybe, use, could we... I'll use your weapon a... to mark one for Alpine. <laughs> I want an avalanche. Can you make an avalanche happen? I want to do an avalanche. Actually, that's fun because when uh, Carl, way back, was working on how to make trees knock down, uh, he had run into a bug in the process, or he had created a mound with the terrain and lined it with like probably 500 trees. And from a distance, he shot the top one, it tipped over and hit two trees, and they knocked over, and they hit two trees and knocked over. And they, exponentially, they created this delta of falling trees, and it looked just exactly like an avalanche. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, dude, that's awesome. Don't un, don't fix that. We mm -hmm. can just change it to snow instead, yeah. and maybe we can have an avalanche in Alpine. Nothing that would cause destructibility, mm -hmm. um, but you know, it'd only be maybe as high as the waste on a Jenner, so it wouldn't cause any visibility issues. It wouldn't really have any role in gameplay at all. But as far as you know, that would be cool, visual, that'd be really cool. Visual, it would be pretty sweet. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it looks like that's all we have on Forest Colony. Should we questions. do some user questions for yeah. Dennis? Yeah, so we collected some questions on the forums, as you know, and um, from the community. And uh, they have a few questions about art. Now, in the next devlog, we will have two texture artists in uh, devlog number 15. We will have two texture artists talking about... What? Textures? And textures, yeah. <laughs> the camo textures. Yeah, basically, yeah. Um, so they will be able to go into details with those um, questions. But um, we collected a few other questions here. Let's see what we have. So the first question we have is from Cycloner M. He is uh, actually a volunteer moderator on the forums. And his big question is, can you describe the philosophy behind Inner Sphere and Clan Cockpits? Mm. Um, he goes on and says, I see the difference you wanted to achieve. However, at times I feel the two styles should be reversed. Mm. IS mechs have usually cockpits uh, described as big, open, and roomy, while clan cockpits are described as cramped and spartan, uh, reflecting utilitary sorry, philosophy. <laughs> in many cases in game, they feel the opposite. Uh, yes, that that we do take that into account, and uh, always have been. Um, now, of course, we haven't created all the mechs holistically. We started off with four, then eight, mm -hmm. and kept moving up. And then after a while, we moved into clans. So, obviously, it's a little harder to, you know, work in a linear fashion like this, keeping all this in mind. It would have been easier if we did have all the mechs laid out and start from scratch. That being said. Uh, the philosophy, artistic philosophy behind the cockpits has always been maintained it's exactly uh, what Cyclone Ram said. Uh, and uh, it still does stand, I believe it still works. I mean, yeah, of course there's some that may not look exactly, but they're all based on cockpit, on the cockpits of the mechs, which are all very, very individualistic, right? Some of the clan cockpits are actually fairly large, so to make them look cramped is more of a challenge. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's easier to make a cramped cockpit, a small cockpit look cramped. That being said, a Commando is an Inner mech, but it has a cramped, cramped cockpit, right? But if you look at the Awesome, it's like driving a couch. The thing's huge, bay windows all around, you know? The guy's got a little mini bar in there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the, the clan cockpits, you'll notice that they all have an, uh, uh, an endoskeleton or, or an internal roll bar. They're very much patterned off of the um, 
the sensibilities of like a NASCAR, where there's no headliner, uh, all the cluster panels are not boxed in. You can see the Molexes and the, and the coaxial cables plugging in from behind. They're very stratified. You, know, you can see the layers of everything, pipes and all that kind of jazz going on. Whereas most of the Intersphere mechs, not so much. That being said, it's not uh, like that across the board. Some of the smaller mechs, like the Commando, if you look up, it doesn't have a headliner in it. There are exposed pipes. But this is by virtue of the fact that it's a small mech, so it stands to reason that it would be more simplistic. But the aesthetic still stands as exactly the way Cycloner or M uh, suggested it should. Okay. Cool, I've got one. Yeah, sure, okay. shoot. Signal. As a guy who is really into concept art, I have to ask, at this point you must have thousands of mock-ups, concepts, and sketches. Do you guys have a ballpark figure on how many files you've saved over the years? Anyway, this is a concept art. How yeah. do you archive all that? How it, much Well, we don't have thousands, much? actually. We're very specific. Um, Alex, as everyone knows, is a full-time mech concept artist. He doesn't, uh, way at the beginning, and as we've illustrated on um, some, our, a couple of our documents that were released on the internet before of how process of how mechs are made, Alex used to make several different concepts of a particular mech before honing in on one. Now it's not like that at all. He's done so many, he knows exactly the style. Uh, the feedback that I give him is very minimal now. It's mostly just stuff that may pop out at me or, or uh, things that seem a little off-center or the weight's wrong. But otherwise, he gets 99% right off, right from the start. So mm. there's really no superfluous uh, art. So if the mech concept art is done right away, what about level art? How many concepts do you produce for the content? Um, I do the concepts for level and, and props. Well, I share the props with Alex. So uh, as far as the level art goes, I do the concepts for that. Uh, Generally speaking, I'll do maybe anywhere between two and five concept pieces for it. As far as the Redux art goes, I don't do any. Uh, I just have uh, a, a powwow with, with Leona, and we go over all the assets that I'd like to see, and she offers suggestions, and then we work together on trying to get it up to the fidelity and to the style that looks the best at the end. It's surprising how efficient uh, we are at it, and we have to be. Our team is very small. I mean, we only have one dedicated level artist, and that's Fiona. Um, then you know Ryan helps out when he has time, and, and I work on it as well. Whereas with uh, with mechs, we have like six or seven people working dedicated on the mech because it's so much more complex, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, and they're all they're all archived on. Well, we have a, a Perforce system that archives everything. We don't have thousands of pieces of art, though. Surprisingly enough, one day a concept art book would be much appreciated. I'd I'm love sure to have one on my coffee to, yeah. table. Yeah, yeah. I mentioned that actually probably a couple of years ago on uh, another one of the audio logs we did. Right. Yeah. One day. One day. Love it. Yeah. Uh, next question is, let's see, by Tenix. <clears throat> he asks about the, the, the mech scaling actually. He says, uh, any Oof. internal ETA on when the Nova's rescaling will finish by? And any current work in progress being done on mech scaling or is it a sort of uh, on the back burner? I am not going to give any uh, estimated times of completion no, on anything. Okay. The last thing I want to do is make promises that I might not be able to keep. It's just not really worth doing it. Uh, but I would like to say it, it is uh, on the radar. Mm -hmm. We plan doing it. Mm -hmm. Where we've well, we've already had the, 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 the forum that mm -hmm. chose the ones that are going to be done. Mm -hmm. Once we start them, we're still working on the resistance and the two C pack. So those things have to go through their process first. Once then, uh, possibly that's a good opportunity to start on the rescaling. So there's a high degree of probability that we'll start on this before the end of the year. And uh, as far as the, the, the scaling goes, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a global scale per mech. Mm -hmm. We can, what we're going to do is we have to strip the rigging from it and then we can scale uh, body portions up. Maybe the torso will, 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 will grow but the legs will stay. Uh, but then of course then all the weapons have to be kind of refitted because we don't scale the weapons. We have a standard standardization for weapons now. So it's it's a big job to rescale. And um, it's some, one of those things we're gonna have to take mech by mech. I was gonna get Matthew Ace's question in here as what the, we know it's simply not a matter of adjusting the sizes. You kind of already oh. answered this, but will be the, will the rescaling be restricted to a uniform scale? Or can it be kept to the width and height? Like, are some of them going to be just a simple yeah, like matter I, of like 10% no, no. smaller? Or? No, like I said, yeah, some mechs, who knows? It's surprising how a 1% global scale makes such a massive difference. Mm -hmm. You scale up a mech 1%, it looks like it gained two tons. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, but most of the time, uh, if we do, when we're in the process of scaling the mechs, uh, we scale them piece by piece. Like I said, torso may grow, legs may shrink. Sometimes the legs won't, even, even one leg, uh, you know, obviously they're mirrored, so we'll scale one leg and then dupe it, but that one leg won't be a global scale. Sometimes it'll just be on the X value, for example. Right? So maybe just a width or a depth or a height only. So when we scale, we kind of want to do it right once because to scale these things, like I said, you got to strip all the rigging off of it and the animation off it. And then you got the weapons have to come off it. Then you got to do the scaling. Everything goes back on. Every step of, of mech production has to be redone. Yeah. Well, right. to a certain degree. So it's a lot of work. Can't we want to stretch things. It's not a matter of just go click, whoop. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that would... good though. They were talking about how uh... I think it was the awesome. They said it was. Was it the awesome? They said that it was the scale was fine, but it was mm. just specific things that could be smaller exactly. or whatever. Yeah, mm. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, it's interesting how decisions like that along the pipeline, whether it's concept art or when during modeling process, can have uh, an effect on gameplay. Mm. A huge huge ramifications. Yeah. yeah, we we try to mitigate all this in the process, but you know we have a lot of mechs, and we're bound to get a few that aren't quite right. And honestly until you test it and the, tested by users not just you know qa running around for a week of testing but users working it for, on it for eight months that's when you get true feedback mm -hmm. uh, realistic usable feedback uh, for for how it works in the game so now that we have that we yeah. can move forward and as other mechs come along the relationship between those two mechs changes so it's like exactly okay this mech came out it's the same weight class and they're now comparing these two mechs in the same way right? exactly yeah yeah, that's why in the countdown we have them side by side and stuff. Yeah, scale comparisons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a question from Sarlik. Uh, he asks, um, are there any plans for dynamic visual appearance on Mac? On Mac? Uh, for Custom example, Geo, maybe? Yeah. Oh, okay, yes. This is something that I've, I've brought up in the past. Actually, it was, I think I introduced it as a suggestion about a year ago. And I think what he's talking about is like, you know, a different shield on the Centurion or a different head on the Atlas. Mm -hmm. And I tried, in one way, we tested the waters with the loyalty mechs. You'll notice the Centurion's got a different shield and the Atlas has got a different head. Uh, and I wanted to sort of see what kind of the feedback would be. This is a great way to test, to see how people liked it, right? Um, I kind of expected to get a lot more from the forums of people like, oh man, I want to change the, you know, I want to have a, a choice of 10 different heads yeah, for the Atlas. Yeah. Didn't seem to work out that way. So I was like, oh, maybe the reception is a little more cooler than I thought. But mm -hmm. perhaps now maybe we can get a little bit more feedback on weather because it's absolutely doable for sure. I mean, we can, as long as it's not, I, I know, I think he goes a little bit deeper in his questions about whole different arms or hands. And yeah, that's a little much um, yeah. because once you do that, that means every component has to be textured to, uh, to sport every single camo that exists. So mm -hmm. if you have you, know, you change the arm and you're wearing a flame, it's got to have a flame or or, or, or um, Franken, it's got to have Franken. So it's a ton of work. The file sizes would go through the roof. Mm. So we probably keep it to uh, specific things, like I said, the, the shield or the head or maybe other smaller components like that that are still make an obvious difference, but not too big. Well, that's everything for community questions. Yeah, oh, that no. guy's question does not get answered. Hello, Bassman. Actually, he has one question. All right, sure. Yeah, should we answer? Hello, Bassman. Yes, do you want to read it? Hello, Bassman asks, why was the trebuchet's left forearm moved off center? What's the deal with that? From the, the rest, rest of the arm. <laughs> from the, the question goes on. From the rest of the arm when the dynamic geometry was added. I assume it was to keep the missile box from sticking out as far as you... As far if you put an LRM-20 on it, but it would look better if part of the the part with the hand was centered like before. That, so why did you F up the trebuchet <laughs> arms? This is a real question right I here. I F'd them up for gameplay reasons. There's a lot of contention all the time about hitboxing, and the last thing we want to do is expand the silhouette of the mech if we don't have to. And if we have to sacrifice placement of a hand by moving it a little bit inwards, so be it. Uh, it's not all about art. I see. Yeah, there, there's a fine balance. You, it, you know, it's fair to move, right? it, you can't. They're not completely separate from one another. I mean, mm. people come for the art, but they stay for the game. Yeah. Right. It doesn't matter how beautiful a, a game is. If it doesn't play well, people aren't going to play it. It okay. doesn't really matter how well it plays. If people aren't attracted to it, 
they're not going to try it, right? What's the percentage, Dennis? What is it? Good question. But in this case here, we're getting gameplay and art that's mixed, right? So we kind of have to make consolation sometimes. So we do. Simple as that. And yes, we're going to fix the catapult. Give me a chance. <laughs> <laughs> You've had your chance. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> we have more, but... This we're side of the paper is blank, time, though. So we have um, more, but run out of the team. Let's, uh, let's move of the on. Team. We'll have more artists in the next. Vlog. I want to talk about serious cockpit items. Serious let's get serious cockpit. for a second here. You know what's funny? Serious cockpit items. The description of the forum had three words to it. <laughs> serious. And one third of it was completely negated by ninety percent of the people. Items. Was yeah. that the word you're looking at? Yes, that's you? right. <laughs> <laughs> the word serious just wasn't taken seriously. Let's face it, a roll of toilet paper is not a serious item. <laughs> wait, 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 you're getting ahead of yourself now. So what we've done it here is... It could be. It could be. Well, it's a, it's serious business. They need to go, you know. So they, they, they need to go, you know. Yeah, you know. So, you know, they have something well, to take with them. Apparently bigger outside. mechs like the stalker here had toilets in them. Oh. So maybe you do need your... We've compiled a list. Yes, I want some of our favorites. I'm out. looking forward to this whack list. Tina's got her list. I got my list. So I'm going to lead my off favorites. here. Okay. So favorite. I have three categories. Serious. Actually serious. Yeah, actually serious. Cool ideas. But not so serious. Mm -hmm. But not so serious. And what the heck. Didn't you type WTF? What the heck. Okay. What the heck? What the heck? What the what? The what the what? What the what? So, serious <laughs> ideas I like. So here's, we're going to just fire them at you and you're going to be like, mm, What do you what? think? Yeah. Sure, sure. Just well. give Can us your thoughts it? and then by the end we're going to pick a winner, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and it has to be in the serious category or can it be the what the heck? No. Well, this is a serious. serious cockpit item. We have to choose a serious winner, yeah. but I think we could maybe choose... How like we can each choose an, a cockpit item okay. to win, and then sure. that way we'll have three items. And, uh, uh, you can be serious. I'll be like cool, and you can be goofball, serious, and you can be what the what the heck. I, what, oh, I choose the what the heck. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll this that. is fair. Yeah. Is it I'll fair? be serious. Okay. I'll be like not serious but cool. <laughs> so right. first first serious item is a uh, first aid kit. Yeah, a box with a plus sign on it. Simple. A little boring, but it's practical. It's right. serious, okay. but it's a lot of people suggested it. Yeah. Really? Yeah, well, a lot if, actually. First aid kit. Sure. One maybe it can be opened, and you can it see makes, rolls of bandages and. It yeah, makes sense. I mean, you stuff. can hit your head while it's. Why you? Yeah. Got a big. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Next. Sure. Okay, so oh, next is... Oh, uh, let me go next. Okay, good. I also serious have serious one? ones. Okay, you okay. go. I really liked um, things that were lore-based. So a hologram of Kerensky is one of their leaders in the... We have it. Oh, do we? Yeah. We have a Kerensky hologram. We got it. Okay, it's we been got out it. for a while. I, yeah. I, uh, Hello. Do they, can they buy it or is it like something they had oh, to pre-order a package for? Maybe it's not a It could have been a pre-order thing. I can't we'll remember. You remember it. Um, I know. It yeah. was a hologram, right? Is it So maybe they meant like a real hologram. Like a 3D model of Kerensky uh, giving was. a speech or something. Mm -hmm. No, it was like 2D. It was a hologram. 2D Therefore, hologram. it's 3D. It's just mm. thing, it's 2D hologram that goes against the whole hologramness. Hologram. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's 3D okay. light. Not, I don't know what I'm talking not, about. Not serious, but good in my opinion. Okay. Okay. And I mean, uh, it's check engine light. <laughs> I have one on my car. It blinks all the time. Yeah, that's an easy one. Sure. Yeah. I Check mean, that's definitely, Check that's engine. serious. It's, that's, uh, that can be really very down. serious. Check engine in your, yeah. in your mech. Okay. Uh, Check engine light. Sure, yeah. Easy to do, same with yeah. kit. Well, hopefully yeah, your gonna... mechanic checked it before you went into battle, but hey. Yeah. You know, stuff happens. You're writing this down? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this part is just free for all. It's just, yeah. yeah. Doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. It's a giant blooper anyway. For serious cockpit items, we're not taking this very seriously. No, that's true. No. We're We've done what everyone else did and just forgot about the seriousness yeah. part oh, of it. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's the it's the cockpits, you know, they just do that. Just What's do your that not too? so serious one you like? My not so serious that I liked was glasses. Huh? Glasses. We have glasses. We've well, got to deal with the glasses. We have to deal with the glasses. What about like uh like like Glasses and Spectacles. you put it onto the the car. It's like, hold on, let's get serious. You know? Yeah. So they're just sitting there on the dash. Yeah. 
Like some real spectacle glasses. You mean like... Maybe the old school circular ones too. Some John Lennon's? Um, yeah, that could be done. Although, I mean, we wouldn't do the... If, uh, anything behind the lens wouldn't be modified oh, or anything. No. It wouldn't be actual lensing. No, it would just be like hipster style. No refraction? No refraction. So no glasses and Dennis poo no that idea. Uh, okay. just, you know, I don't so, even to see them. Yeah. Here's my number one in the WTF category is roll of toilet paper. That is definitely a WTF. We could do a roll of toilet paper. I sure. kind of want a roll of toilet paper now. That's just like you do? animated kind of. to be consistently unrolling. Like as if there's a cat that's pulling on it on the, on your, on the floor. Now Tina wants it because there's yeah, a cat pulling it, on it. Yeah. There's a cat involved. Yeah, you need to add the cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cat and toilet paper. Hey, wait, whoa, no, no, there's no cat there. Cat right? playing just, with toilet no, paper. No, no cat? A kitten. It's like small and it's like meow meow. <laughs> no? Oh God. <laughs> It's not us. Right. We no. have nothing to do with no, this weirdness. No. They mentioned cats. Yeah. No, We're we totally, cats. totally, uh... Next. Um, uh, from my weird W-T-H. Uh, a twerking Irby doing non-stop 360. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing that Hefe made with the twerking Irby, yeah. Uh, yeah, it could be done. Not saying that it's not doable, but it's not a serious cocktail item. No, no, yeah. no. This is from the it's a, not serious. This is fun. Not serious. Um, yeah, uh, it, 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 twerking. What is this thing with twerking? Isn't that out of style? <laughs> that kind of came and went. I don't know. Twerking Irby. Yeah, uh, yeah. Great. Sold. Yeah. Okay. Uh, twerking okay. Irby is making it to the list. No, it's not. No. Okay. No, it's not. Okay. I don't no. know. I, well, there's. If there's people want lists. it, they'll get it. If they just have to. There were actually a lot of. Irby requests, Irby doing something, Irby... Because they saw the Irby popping out of the garbage can, yeah. and it's kind of neat to see them animated. Yeah. Right? But we can do anything. It's it's the mask. There's another thing. serious item for you, Dennis. Um, an ejection button. So basically a button with the word eject on it. Mm -hmm. uh, keep in mind that cockpit items are placed in the same spot on the dash. Mm -hmm. Like they have a sp specific node where they're placed, right? So I imagine... No, they're always placed. There's, there's, there's the hanging item, and then there's the standing <laughs> item, and they're placed in the same spot. So okay. this would be probably a dashboard item. I see. Uh, and yeah, we can do this red button or something with the word eject on it. Um, now I'm. You know, just, I don't feel like you're sold on the what idea, I'm, Dennis. I'm, I'm thinking that it would be great there. if we had, and I'm not suggesting we're doing this. That if someone did eject, then you'd see the pilot's hand go reach out and press the eject when button. Eject, I'm yeah. assuming this is probably an extension of the request, but. There mm -hmm. were a lot of uh, requests, like um, this really weird one where there's eggs, and eggs. when your mac overheats, it cooks. Uh, actually, that was on a list yeah. about maybe 18 months ago. Oh. A little hot plate with a frying pan and a, really? and a sizzling oh, that's awesome. egg, you know, bacon or eggs or both or something like that. Yeah, oh. but you know, um, <laughs> we have waffles for crying out loud. You know, it's like. <laughs> No, I'm the waffles don't cook though. No, they don't you cook. You don't have a waffle iron where you like That's mix true. the ingredients and then cook them after you've killed a mech. It could be like this full pilot animation where he like grabs the and pours the syrup on it and whipped cream. <laughs> He's like, yeah, making waffles. Yeah, but next. This is your next serious item. I'd my, be my, my second serious, serious item. Yeah, you know. Okay, uh, serious item police lights. How's that a serious item? That would be great though if when you kill somebody. You were like, Woo! like a beacon, yeah. And then like the lights went off and the sound happened and you were like. That would be another sign. That'd be like a war horn. Essentially it'd be a war horn. Yeah. Right? But, Except but that it, it would be a light. That, but that's there fun. would be lights on the thing and then because you know. Not, not on the Mac. Mac. This is a cockpit no, 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 item. Careful now. On the inside. I know, on the, the, the lights. Yeah, well, if we were to do it, if they were going to be war horns, then they could be placed on either side like the war horns because yeah. you get two war horns, right? And then in which case they could be the beacons that spin, right? That'd so, be cool. Yeah. How about this one for not so serious? This one I don't get. I'm like, I guarantee you there's somebody who has like all kinds of garbage on their desk and then they want their cockpit to like be a continuation, Look like, their like a virtual continuation <laughs> of, of the garbage on their desk. And uh, so they've asked for like chips or uh, cheesies or cookies or whatever, like in their cockpit. So they have like a snack. So like, it'll be like, you know, yeah. um, the beef, if he's like goes to reach for, he's got his like cookies. He's like, oh, cookies! <laughs> but he'd be like, um, but the pilot, like he'd have like a, a box of cookies. The pilot actually hard, hard and he'd be like, like, No, this is this is serious. That's my beef impersonation. And then you like, he's like playing the game, and he'd be like, oh, 
cookies. And he'd be like, <laughs> and he'd be like <laughs> did you show a video of him like trying to reach through the monitor? And get cookies, cookies. Trying to grab the cookies. Yeah. Except this case, the pilot would be animated to grab a cookie and they go, hot, 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 hot. No. What is this, the cookie <laughs> monster? Now he's going to be blue and fuzzy? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cookie monster pilot, sold. Release next month. Cookie monster pilot? No. <laughs> but cookies, maybe. So, like, people who want snacks in the cockpit. Yeah, because that's. Because that explains the toilet paper. <laughs> it does? Oh. Well, post, yeah, exactly. post snack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, Sometimes these battles are long. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh my god. I mean, they do last hours, and the sun goes down. And it's true. Yeah, the time is accelerated. So their digestion would be sped process. up as well. Yeah. You could take like three or four poops during a game. Really? <laughs> Maybe we should have a toilet flushing sound. <laughs> oh, when you kill somebody? <laughs> That's a sweet war horn right there. It is. Yeah. Oh. That would not be good. Don't do that. Don't even suggest that. So, not so serious item, let's see. A yeah. stack of sea bills. Uh, money, that actually is on a list. We have a list that we've created a long, long time ago. Okay. It probably consists of like well over 100 items. Why we've don't we have all these cockpit items in the end then, Dennis? Uh, because we don't have a dedicated right. cockpit item artist just pumping out cockpit items, really. Uh, but that was one of the suggestions, was a stack of coins a la Scrooge McDuck. You know, like or like poker chips, the way they're stacked up, except yeah. all gold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's definitely something that's done. That's not a serious item, though. No, no, no. That's why I said it's uh, not so serious, oh, okay. but good yes. idea. Your turn. This is my WTF category. Uh, <laughs> this is like kind category. of this is kind of like the next step. This is an evolution of having chips, Cheetos, and cookies in your cockpit. They just want garbage. This one like litter. They want like empty beer cans, rags. papers, wrappings. Underwear. Yeah, probably like once again, tissues. I, I don't know why I said that word, but they probably want something tissues along that line in there from sneezing. Keep in mind that all the cockpit items are placed in specific areas, right? You'll notice they're yeah. always in that specific area. Okay. So if you did have garbage, it'd be just in that area, right? Mm -hmm. um, well, we're not going to be placing. Perfect. We can't place nodes everywhere. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind these are suggested for I serious that. items, so they're serious about. They're this. serious. <laughs> And anything that's really out of uh, standard view, if you have to go into free look to look at it, is not really worth it, yeah, right? So it's if you gotta look down at your feet to see garbage, how often do you actually ever do that? Right? No, some people have garbage on their desk. I understand that, but we only like have one particular spot. Studio, like right? if this was a cockpit item, it would mm. sit on this mat coaster only. It wouldn't right. be here. It wouldn't be here, and it wouldn't be here. It would only be here. So what you're saying is it'd be weird to have just garbage in one pile in one yeah. spot? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. It'd be a full cockpit mod to have like Don't garbage everywhere. Don't even go there, full cockpit mods. No. I'm just saying, that's what it would be. That's just crazy sauce. I have a WTF. Uh, you have a lot of WTF. Yeah. Well, this one's a, a bullseye target sign with bang head here in the middle. Um, sure. <laughs> That's... They just get frustrated? Okay. It would, yeah, I mean, it's, it's basically like a flag. Except yeah. it would sit like a flag, except it would be more like a dark board, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, it's not that exciting. I don't know if Dennis is buying any of these. I don't know. These what are not exciting. What? Okay, what I, got, I got one. <laughs> Super exciting. For a serious I idea. Now, Tina questioned my level of seriousness on this one. Yeah. Uh, oh, but for me, this is a very serious subject. I don't joke about this. Um, okay. I really believe in it uh, for a serious item. Uh, bacon. Bacon. <laughs> kind of goes along with the frying pan and eggs thing. I asked him, like, why is bacon on your serious list? Because he loves pork products. Or Canadian. Well, bacon in general. We can turn that into a hanging item where it's just a strip of American bacon, you know, the strip mm. bacon hanging, sort of dangling there. They yeah. can smell it while they're yeah. playing, I bet, too. The, uh, I like bacon so much. You know how they have those signs um, when you go to dry your hands uh, in the bathroom after you wash <laughs> your hands? And they have, they have those signs, like these squiggly lines of like, like heat. It looks like bacon. I'm like, it's like, mm, receive bacon. bacon. I'm ready to receive bacon <laughs> after I wash my hands. So Anyways. That's a serious Next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This oh, is working, right? I like yeah. this one. It's totally working. Yeah. I like. I really like this one. Uh -huh. okay. An atlas yeah. with Terra on its shoulders, because he's mm. an atlas. Ah, uh, okay. Like Atlas, the character, the the, the, the. I guess he was a demigod. 
Atlas. He carried the Earth on his shoulders. Mm -hmm. Where did he carry it on, though? So, like, if he's standing on Earth carrying Atlas, what's he standing it's on? It's just turtles all the way down, man. Turtles? Yeah. Turtles to infinity? Turtles all to infinity, exactly. Can we model that? To infinity. And beyond? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's doable. That's yeah. not a serious thing. It's, it's uh, not? It's, no, it's not serious. No. Of course not. It's, yes, uh, it's not. The whole it's... intent of seriousness is what you would actually see in a that's cockpit. That's true. Um, so in real life. In real life, you're not going to see a, a little figurine of, of Atlas. Atlas. Right? Um, well, the toy version, maybe. Uh, but it's something that we can definitely do. It wouldn't be difficult. We already have an Atlas uh, figurine. Mm -hmm. It's just right. a matter of reposing putting it and putting the Earth. Yeah. Yeah. Terra. Sorry, Terra. Terra, sorry, yeah. I have one that's not serious, but I can consider it good. Um, I'd like to have this in my cockpit item because I'm all about, you know, being really zen when I'm in combat. But I want a bonsai tree. Bonsai tree. Uh, that was big. Because they're like, too. they can be really cool. That's on the, actually, actually that is on the list that oh, we yeah. created like a year ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As, as well as one of those little um, sandboxes with the rake. Oh. Those are supposed to be so Oh, yeah, yeah. Aww. The sand. Little rock gardens. Little, 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 little rock gardens, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so no bonsai trees, is that what you're saying? No, we can do no, it. It's on the bonsai way. all the way. Okay, yeah, sure. Rock on. Um, oh, I don't know. Um, so there were a lot of um, family memor memory kind of things. Um, it's not too serious, but it's it's a letter with like lipstick print on it. You know, like uh, a letter yeah. from. That was from actually there. one of the first things that ever came up for cockpit items because we're thinking about what would be like if you put in a World War II fighter. Yeah. And that would be picture like family. a picture of your, you know, your sweetheart, your, your sweetheart yeah. with with a lipstick mark on it. We actually had yeah. um, created a, a concept of it to, to put it up, but uh, posted items never worked out that well because they had to go on the wall and you had to free look to see them So we changed all the flags to the standing items. This is the reason why we did this, right? That's okay. A picture can be on the wall. I mean, we could throw a picture on it, but I think the extension from this would be trying to, you know, maybe if one day we uh, address the idea, the notion of user contributed art, in which case they could throw their own sweetheart in there because yeah. some strange person Who's is kind of weird, right? Mm. So well, we could have no face. But no face, just a blank head, like an <laughs> egg fuzzy. with lipstick on it. Yeah. 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 Or if you like potato head, a Mr. Potato Head. Yeah. Where's that on your list? Or 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 a picture where there's like um there was this was on the request to a reflection, a light reflection. You know how glass kind of has like a a prism. Yeah. You know what I mean, like that. Yeah. Line gloss. That, yeah, the glass. There you go. The gloss that hides the face. So oh, I see. Yeah. So it's just a body with a blurry, a blurry. That would have to be, face. yeah, that would be baked right into the model instead of having actual reflections. Yeah, no, because no, we try to rely on, on actual lighting. So yeah. uh, then it wouldn't. Then it would just look a mirror. <laughs> it would probably look like a mirror, right? Oh yeah, and it would be so still because you know you're moving in there, and yeah. that thing is not moving. Are we on not? Are we on serious but or uh, not serious that but was good? Not so serious. So oh, not so we're on WTF. On WTF. Not a lot of okay. Stuff here. Yeah. No. Uh, homeless Bill wants a swear jar. Ah. I don't know what's up with Homeless Bill and why he's so profane, well, maybe but... Maybe he uh, gets angry when he's playing. You know, he maybe. Well, maybe. On the bright side, he has uh, sufficient vacation funds every year. Yeah, for sure. Virtual oh, swear jar. You yeah. can put, like, you swear and sea bills can go... <laughs> <laughs> every time you swear on a yeah. the sea bill falls in there. Every We're trying to stop swearing. Yeah, okay. You should sure, actually yeah. take sea bills out of your bank account when you swear. <laughs> every time you get shot, you have to, like, doink. Put a coin in, because that's probably when they say bad words right there. What do they say? <laughs> <laughs> Enough of this cockpit item discussion. Let's choose who are the winners. Yes, let's pick the winners. All right. I have my personal this? favorite. <laughs> I have my personal favorite. Oh, personal. I have my personal <laughs> okay. favorite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so. Dennis, you go first. Gas mask. Gas mask? That makes sense. Is that you a, might, you is might that see a, this. a um, mounted st yeah, it's or standing? Too, it's too big to be a hanging item. It would just obscure your vision. So no, it would be sitting on the dash. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, what about yours? I don't know why. I really like bonsai tree. Bonsai tree? It's such a serious item too. Well, it's very serious. Obviously, it's we're serious. very loose in the definition of serious. But yeah, I fl that's fine. Uh, flask, maybe. 
but I don't know. I just I really want to have a bonsai tree in my cockpit for some reason. Okay, bonsai tree and like Christmas lights on it or no, no, just it's just zen. It's zen. It's like man. It's like when you're when you're out there on the battlefield and you're taking fire and everywhere and you can just be like, it's okay. I've got my bonsai tree. Chill. Yeah. Yeah. All right then. Cool. And. And toilet paper. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Sorry. Maybe. Oh, I like it. Toilet paper. Yeah. Yeah. We'll make That's it. serious. I'll model it. Because, I'll make it. Because pooping is serious Can business. Can you make the cat? No, probably no. not. Unrolling it? Yeah. No. No. There comes that. Maybe headache. you look down at your feet. I feel like there's the one cat. that we missed. No? Okay. Yeah, a serious I, one. There because was another Toilet paper one. is not a serious item. There was flask. Uh, Matt uh, mentioned flask, yeah. but that was his idea. It wasn't actually no, on the yeah. list. There's grenade. Uh, there, there was, was a... a locket, a cameo. That's the one. Bacon. That I like. We forgot bacon. <laughs> the bacon cameo. I prefer toilet paper. The bacon? The bacon? Yeah. They both come in strips. Because they're both. Because <laughs> they're both <laughs> weird. Yeah. Yes. The third item. I think it was you, your cameo. No. What? Your locket, the cameo. Yes. So a little locket with um, half open, you see like sort of an image of another. Your person. image. Oh, a Tina picture. locket. There you go. That's what every mech warrior needs. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't really see who's in it. Yeah, you it would be too small see to see anyways, yeah. even if you did put a real photo in it. But okay. at least you get the gist of it. Yeah. We could do that. That'd be great. And it'd be hanging and, and yeah. stuff. We so could. that's the three winners then. Yes. Okay, locket. Locket. Bacon. A bacon tree. No, bonsai, no, okay, bonsai too. <laughs> so lock it. Lock it. Gas mask. Gas mask. And? A bonsai tree that grows <laughs> bacon. <laughs> no. And a bonsai tree. No, okay. So I'm, the winners are? Bonsai tree. Bacon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's gotta be That's what I want. It's gotta be Canadian back bacon, not American uh, strip. I know, I like the strips. Yeah. You like that? Back bacon is just like ham. No, ham comes from the ham hock. Bacon, back bacon comes from the back derail. of the pig. That's why they call it a back bacon. <laughs> and it's, derail, a and it's really thick. It's delicious. Sure, like there's it's one magical ham. creature that that bacon has and ham, all yeah, this yeah, type yeah. of. Yeah. So the winners are gas mask, locket, and bonsai tree. Yay! Yay! Okay, we have our winners and um Bonsai tree. Mm. <laughs> Do you want me to change my favorite? No, no, my no, pick? no, no. I can change it. No, it's fine. Like survival chosen. knife. Could do that too. That's a little more serious. That it makes more, more sense. sense. Hanging survival knife. Are we still gonna yeah. get the pinups and uh, the rocket girl? The rocket yeah. girl will yeah, I'll get we'll get to it. I we'll think we should make everything kind of we mentioned right now. on this vlog. Everything. Everything. Toilet paper included. Okay. Yeah. Toilet paper. toilet paper. And a pony and a cat. That's right. Okay. And a cat unrolling the toilet paper. And the cat on your lap. So when you look around, you're like, oh. You look down, you're like, oh, look at the cat. Mm -hmm. it's sleeping. Yeah. That was a request. Sleeping it was, cat. yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's the winners. <laughs> Gas mask, locket, and bonsai tree. Thank you very much for your submissions. We will have pinup girl and girl on the rocket in the future. Uh, when the art team has time to make. Yes. Um, and um, I think that wraps up the vlog number 14. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Also. So the next question is. He's walking, he literally walked yeah, away. Yeah, he did. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> that was a hand gesture. How to make a mech? How to make a mech? How to make a mech? Yes. We don't know what to do when Paul's gone. We just like and small talk. Scene. <laughs>